Hi, Sean Higgins here. And in this video, I wanna talk about the difference between tax liens and tax deeds. Now, in this video, you're gonna learn the distinct difference between a tax deed and a tax lien. So really, by the end of this video, you'll know what's right for you and your family's financial future. Which one is most profitable for you? That also will be covered in this video. And last but not least, timing. What's the best time for you and your family to start doing this? Okay, tax liens and tax deeds. You can't commingle the terms. Okay, so I'm gonna actually do that right now though. What's the difference between a tax lien and a tax deed? It's all about time. Okay, so in other words, not like it's about time I do this video, it's about time when you get involved in it. A tax lien and a tax deed are two different sides of the same coin. So let me give you an example. If we have a timeline down here and we've got a tax lien certificate, okay? And let's say that this is 2022, right here. So a property owner has to be delinquent one year before a property tax lien can be put on their property. So in other words, you're not gonna see a sale on a 2022 lien till sometime in 23. Okay, so you're not gonna see a lien on, it, on that property. I mean, they're gonna be late during this time period, but no county will be allowed to bring it to the sale until it's been delinquent for one year. This is very important to understand. Okay, so then you've got you know, one, two, three, four, and five down here. We'll just look at it that way. So what happens is this, once that property um, owner is delinquent during this first year, it hasn't paid its property taxes off, then and only then can a county put a tax lien certificate on the property. Now they can choose to sell it immediately, which is somewhere in this first, second year. So if I'm buying a tax lien, in the year 2023, I'm buying a tax lien for last year's, in other words, 2022. Now, without doing any research, without doing anything on the internet as far as going to the county's website, I can kind of tell you if you're buying a tax lien certificate in 2023, okay, it's probably got a three year redemption period. Why? Because I've got one year delinquent, I bought it, two, three, four. If you remember in other videos, you cannot take a property back for delinquent taxes and own it free and clear until it's been delinquent a minimum of four years. Okay, so that brings us to the second side of this. Now you're not gonna have to sit here and be able to draw this graph out. It's super important you understand the fundamentals of how a tax lien and a tax deed works. Okay, so this is why I say a tax lien and a tax deed are the same thing, it's just a different time period that the county allows you to get involved. So in a tax lien state, they say, okay, we'll let you buy the lien here. One, two, three, now you can foreclose on the property, okay? You're not gonna be able to foreclose here. So if you see a, a state that has a redemption period of say two years, you're probably buying a lien over here because maybe the county is not that efficient or whatever, and it takes them a while to bring that to sale. That's all you're looking at, okay? But here's the most important part of a tax lien process. The most important part of it is when does the redemption period start? When does the clock start ticking? You'll hear me say that all the time. When does the clock start ticking? Is it the date of the sale? or the day somebody buys it. Because see, look, if it goes to sale here and nobody buys it, it goes into county inventory. Now, does the county start the clock or not? That's a great question to be asking because it's gonna be a different answer depending on where you're at. But if I buy the tax lien certificate right here, one, two, three, four in the original, and I can start the foreclosure on it. Okay, that's the way it's gonna be. That's a tax lien certificate. Now let's talk about the other side of that, which is a tax deed. Now listen, this is a lot of information. If at any time you've got a question for me or a comment or something different, you just, this is complicated. Just type it in there and I'll help you out with it later on. Okay, so let's talk about tax deed. Let's make tax deeds green. 
because there's a lot of money there. A tax deed is gonna be on this side of the coin. So it's gonna be somewhere down in this area. So this is year four. So in order to go to sale, this particular lien has been delinquent on the property for, anybody guess? Anybody, anybody, Bueller? Okay, four years. So it goes one, two, three, four, foreclose. Okay, so the county is now foreclosing on the property and saying, enough's enough. You and I go down to the county and say, hey, we wanna buy a tax deed on this property and we're buying it already in the foreclosure process. When we purchase the sheriff's deed, the tr uh, tax deed, the treasury deed, whatever they call it in that particular state, I'm owning the property free and clear in about 90, 85 to 90% of the states out there. Now, some states, like you've got Tennessee, Texas, um, Georgia, um, different areas around there to say, hey, we'll sell you the tax deed here, but we're gonna require you to finish the foreclosure. Sometimes they call those redeemable deed states. It's kind of really not, but that's how we, because they can redeem, but they're probably not gonna. Let me explain. So if I go to the state of California and I buy a tax deed at a sale right here, I own the property. There is no opportunity for the property owner to redeem. That's it. I own it. I get a sheriff's deed there. Boom. I go to the property. I go ahead and clear title and I go from there. Clearing title, another video. Don't forget that. But if I go to Texas or I go to Georgia and I say, let's just use Georgia because it's super simple. They say one year redemption period. That means I've got it here. They can redeem but I have to foreclose on the property and then I meet up at that fifth year right there. Texas, six months, they say, guess what? I can buy this property here, but I've got six months to foreclose on it. So really what the county is doing is they're saying, we'll let you get the property, but we're gonna let you guys foreclose because we don't want to have to hire the staff and figure out all the legal mumbo jumbo there. It's kind of a brilliant move on the county's part if you really think about it for a minute. Some just great nuggets here. Now. Why do I say a tax deed is probably not gonna redeem on this? I want you to think about this for a minute. How long have they been late before they go to sale? Four years. So let's just use an example where we've got a property, $300,000 is the FMV. I'm not gonna assume anything here. FMV stands for fair market value. And let's say right here at this sale, they owe $15,000 in delinquent property taxes. Let's say you and I, so they owe $15,000 that they are not paying. They've got notifications, they've got certified mail, they got publications in the newspaper. Dude, you're losing your property, okay? At that point, they say, okay, it's gotta go to a sale. Then you and I bid that up to say $50,000. We'll just use that as the number right here. So they gotta pay $50,000 plus a penalty. Because anytime there's a redeemable deed state, it's a penalty. Let's just use Texas. By the way, the, the penalty in Texas is 25%. So they would have to pay me $50,000 plus 25% the day after the auction. It's not annualized or anything like that. So if they couldn't pay 15, what makes you think they're gonna pay 50? It's kind of like this redemption period is kind of an oxymoron. Yeah, they could come and redeem and they could pay 50,000. I hope they do, okay? But the, here's the ch challenges. If they didn't do it at 15, they're probably not gonna do it at 50. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, this is where a lot of questions come in. Feel free, you know, get your keyboard out and start asking questions away. I will personally answer all of this. Man, look at this, okay? There is a lot going on. This is why I say specifically, a tax lien and a tax deed are really the same thing. It's just a function of when the state's state statute, the law, says that you and I can get involved because if I'm buying a tax lien over here, it's at the beginning, it will eventually turn into a tax deed if they don't what? Redeem on the taxes, okay? All the way over here. Now look at they can redeem any time during this period in the state of California, in the state of Texas, in the state of, of wherever, Florida, but they're gonna have to pay an interest rate. The difference is in certain states like California, Texas, and Georgia, they don't let you and I get involved until it gets to this point over here. Okay, so it's really kind of the same thing. It's just a function of when the county allows you to. Now, tax lien certificates. I'm buying a tax lien certificate for the interest rate. We'll use 18% just for this example right here. So if I'm getting 18%, I'm assuming I'm gonna get redeemed. The underlying security on this deal is the value of the property. Over here, I'm buying the property. 
I'm going for it, okay? They've been delinquent five, six years. Enough's enough. The county needs their money, and the rest of us do. Roads, bridges, schools, fire department, et cetera, et cetera. God, there's just, I love this section in here. There's a lot going on. You're going to love this. If you go to Higgins Method, that's H-I-G-G-I-N-S method.com. I've got a whole video training that goes into a lot more detail, but this is the basic, this is the platform to get you rolling. So click on that and we'll make that happen. Hit the like button. We love you. We'll see you out there.